okay so uh, today we will start about the first problem in an isometric uh, which we already discussed about this in the class i think so uh, right so isometric projection means uh, you have to incline the object at an angle of 30 degree so you have to concept in the same way so let me read out the first problem a sphere of diameter 50 mm rests centrally on the top of cube and uh, sides 50 mm so they say a sphere of diameter 50 mm rests centrally on the top of the cube sides 50 mm so we have two solids one is cube above that we have a sphere so they are directly given so we need not to uh, worry about that draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solid so i have to draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solid so cube means all sides are uh, in the shape of square correct in the three dimension it uh, it look like a cube and sphere is the object where it look like a circle uh, you incline at any angle so let us go with the construction so first uh, open the solid head software first go on with the sheet setup the first and the primary important thing is sheet setup you have to set it to a4 and tick the background save defaults press ok then you fit it to the sheet so you get an a4 sheet now take a line so first you go for the projection of the orthographic okay so as they say it is a cube correct a sphere resting on a cube so first i'll go with the cube a uh, cube means it is 50 mm sides so in the front view and top view it look like a square right so i'll just draw the top view now uh, it doesn't matter whether you're keeping in uh, how do you say whether a corner or it, it doesn't matter in this case right so let us find the center of this by drawing the diagonal in this case i am going to draw with the thin line okay here just for the just find out the center okay now a uh, cube will still look like a circle so i'll select the center point and it is also of diameter 50 so i'll just draw a circle of 50 this is supposed to be a dark so i'll make it into 50 then i'll delete the uh, centers which anyways i don't need anyways i have a center of the circle now if i click on that i'll get the center now this is how it looks in the uh, top view in the front view let us project this right i'll project this then center also i have to project so i'll just project this now above here i have to keep the cube so again i'll take a square in this time also it is 50 enter here also it is 50 enter so here also it is 0 degree only so i'll press 0 uh, yeah sorry uh, rectangle width 50 press enter it's not taking for some reason 0 degree okay anyways no problem so 50 50 i'm going to take it so i got a square now i'll just make it into a dark line so that uh, it should be it should be a profile so it should be dark line so that's fine now i'll take a circle uh, i'll just draw a circle whose diameter is 50 okay so that should be a dark circle so again i'm going to uh, make it into a dark circle okay now i'll just draw a from the midpoint i'll just draw an axis so i'll third in a row thin line i'll select the midpoint height of this will be radius so as the diameter is 50 radius would be 25 press ok press ok now at that center i'm going to place this i'll go to move i'll uh, click on the center this is supposed to be off then i'll place it okay this is orthographic so if you want x y vphp all that you can do uh, okay x why i will not waste much of my time explaining all that because you already know vp hp first quadrant means all the things that you have to represent then the dimensioning this height what is the height of this and uh, what is the side length of this correct what is the diameter of this that also you can uh, show it here everywhere here also you can show the diameter of that anything is fine okay like this so once you've done this is orthographic now you have to start with an isometric how to start with an isometric when you when i say isometric always work with a thin line and always work with the continuous lines okay i'll tell you where you have to use dotted lines and where you have to use continuous so here so this is a cube above that we have a sphere that can be seen like this so i'll name this as one two three and four okay so between one and two i'll just write the angle 30 degree between two and three 150 degree okay again 4 and 3 it is 30 degree and uh, 4 and 3 it is minus 150 degree okay and uh, between 4 and 1 it is minus 30 degree so let me tell you what is this 
Now let us construct a cube first because above that we have a sphere. So let us construct a cube first. I'll start with an horizontal line. Okay, now I'll select the midpoint or you can select the other point also, it doesn't matter. Right, first here, what is the distance between 1 and 2? As it is a square, the distance between 1 and 2 is 50. So here I'll type 50, press enter. Now in the angle, I'm going to type 30 degree. Okay, again, it is asking you want to continue. 2 to 3, the distance is 50. Angle, I'll give 150. Right, next 3 to 4, the distance is 50. Angle minus 150. Right, then 4 to 1, the distance is 50. Angle is minus 30. So directly I got the base of a cube, right? This is the base of the cube. Height, what is the height of the cube? Height of the cube is about 50 only because it is cube. So all distance, all, all the side length is 50. So it is 90. Now, again here also I have to construct another one. Instead, what I am going to do means, I will select this. I will go to move. I will make a copy of this. Select this and place it exactly there. Then, I am going to join from this end to this end. I am going to join from this end to this end. Then I will delete this. I will delete this because those two are inside lines that will not be visible. So I will make this profile into dark line so that now this is a uh, cube which was projected using isometric. I have to show 30 degree on either side because I have to prove it is inclined at an angle of 30 degree. Now this is just a cube, correct? Above this, what do we have? We have sphere also. So before uh, placing sphere, spear, so let me uh, go for the radius. Okay, let's the find the center. So this is the center. What is the radius of this? Fifth, uh, 25, right? So let us place 25. Okay, press center 90 degree. Now again, again, it got we got that same point. So here I'm going to delete this because this is not required. Then this one, you make it into chain thing because it is chain thing, right? Axis. Now the thing is, this, see, you have taken 50 only, correct? What initially orthographic it is 50, isometric also have taken 50. But the thing is, isometric means we are inclining the object. So whenever we incline the object, it is being reduced to uh, apparent view. That means all these diagrams, including this axis, okay, you have to reduce this into in a ratio. How to do it? Select this entire thing go to move tool in there we have scale option click on that and here in scale factor 0 0.816 0 0.816 then place it over here once you place it now if you click on any one of the side it has been reduced to ISO just like that then you take a circle select the center okay here you have to type it for the original radius 50 then select this make it into dark line take a trim trim this trim this okay then use the leader select this represent this as one thing represent this as Q represent this as a spear and Q Take a text. So this has become sphere. This is cube. Okay. So here no need to represent the dimensions, no need to represent any of such. Only thing is you have to represent the axis of this because this is axis. So now instead of here giving right 20 point something, so select this, come over here, select the dark, uh, blank here. Okay, sorry this select the blank here here if you click it is ask what you want here i'll type iso 25 okay press okay now you'll see iso 25 this is called as iso radius so that's why it is called as iso 25 so that's it so construction of uh, isometric drawings in a system is very very simple talks so don't miss out this so we'll see you in the next problem